Coronavirus, of course, uh, forcing uh, all of us to adapt to new things. And in this instance, it seems actually reverting to the old classics. Indeed. Sandton City has launched a drive-in cinema in one of its rooftop parking lots. And it's being powered by Steak Kinecore, which fought for business rescue after being hit by the COVID-19 pandemic and faced uh, numerous uh, cinema closures as well. A mall manager, it's uh, Preston Gaddy, uh, joining both of us now. Is, uh, let's talk about the drive-in. and it, it almost has an old nostalgic feel to it, the old days of uh, going to the drive-in, watching two movies at night, popcorn and spilling your Coke inside your dad's or your milkshake, car, even or worse. your milkshake mm. inside. So it's just a brilliant idea. Obviously, it's all being done off the back of the damage financially done to a Sandton City uh, and, of course, Stoke uh, So where did the idea come from to sign off on bringing drive-ins back into style? Good morning. Uh, nice to have, nice, thank you for having me on the show. Um, yeah, so I think uh, the entire entertainment industry has been hard hit by, by COVID and people are still yearning for entertainment and family entertainment. And we worked hard with our team and the team from Stoke Kinecore to bring this to reality. And uh, uh, the first three nights, in fact, have been sold out and uh, there are a few tickets left for, for today's shows. But yeah, it's been extremely well, um, well attended so far and well received by the general public. We're just looking at pictures now from one of those first nights. Um, a, a beautiful uh, shot of the Santon skyline while also watching a movie. Now, a person, I suppose, I mean, we've had numerous conversations with uh, people in the business sphere speaking about uh, businesses need to pivot as a result of this pandemic and just to be agile. And I suppose uh, in the job that you have at a mall, you know, trying to encourage people to come back into a shopping center, to come back into a closed environment while keeping in mind all the COVID uh, um, regulations that you do need to keep in mind. Uh, that must, must be difficult for you and your team, but I suppose also um, allowing you to look at how you can do things differently while ensuring that your shoppers and consumers remain safe. No, absolutely. Uh, their safety is our primary concern and um, we pay, pay, pay a lot of attention to, to the COVID regulations and sanitizing and enforcement of mask wearing um, and, and many other uh, COVID-compliant um, procedures that we, we undertake throughout the mall. And, you know, we, we, we still want shoppers to enjoy Sandton City and enjoy what it has to offer. And I think the, the, the drive-in cinema takes us all back to, to our younger days, and uh, we, can, we can now share that with our children uh, in a safe, compliant uh, environment. Well, let's, let's, let's talk about the, uh, the safety and the compliance around this. Uh, from what we can see on the photos, cars obviously being set up in a way that everyone can see the screen. It's the most important part. If you're going, please don't open your boot or sit on the roof. Don't be that person. <laughs> but uh, speak to me about beverages and food. Uh, are, are people are now allowed to go into the shopping center from the roof? Is there perhaps a, a vendor that's bringing food to the, the car? It's tell us how the process looks. So first, it is all cashless. So we obviously want to avoid uh, contact uh, as far as possible. And, you know, tickets are purchased uh, online. Um, and then uh, State Clinical themselves have got a station where they are uh, selling popcorn and, and uh, cold drinks and, and so on and so forth. But uh, shoppers can also go down into our food court and, and grab a pizza and a burger, whatever it may be for the family. Um, and obviously, all the entrances are, have the sanitization stations and... Um, all the all the necessary COVID compliancy, um, but we also encourage people to bring their own picnic baskets. Uh, you know, pack a picnic basket, pack the kids in, and and off you come. Uh, just before I, just I say not... goodbye to you, uh, Preston, uh, this morning, it's such a good idea. But is this going to be something of a lockdown novelty, based on the fact that it's been sold out in the first three days? There's clearly a demand for this. Uh, could this be something that Sandton City might go? You know what, guys? Let's put some budget aside for this and let's do something uh, with this drive-in after lockdown, after COVID is hopefully gone one day. It is certainly something we're considering, uh, given the uh, impressive response already from the from the general public and our consumers. So, yes, uh, uh, should it continue in this way, we will certainly consider uh, taking it for, uh, longer. Um, what we also want to be doing is looking at bringing more local content. Um, you know, the South African arts industry has been also very hard hit by, by COVID, and we've, we've been introducing musicians on uh, Nelson Mandela Square. We've, we've got an art gallery that's opening, all in support of the arts, and um, we want to work with the uh, local 
uh, movie industry to to bring some more local content um, to the drive-in as well. So we're looking forward to to uh, announcing that in the very near future. And I think it's such a clever way of being able to keep people entertained, keep them safe, but also go back to a, a venue that they know, Santon City. If you're familiar with it, that's where uh, you're now able to go and enjoy the drive-in as well. I'm sure you can get details on the Santon City website and Stoke City Hall. So that's clever. Santon City's general manager, Preston Gaddy. Thank you so much for chatting to us. A really lovely novelty. I did have to notice, however, when you showed those shots um, of the Santon skyline, the, the vehicles of the people. Yes. <laughs> Uh, watching the move, very Santon. <laughs> very, very Santon, sitting in the leather seats. Because, I mean, why would you not want to rather sit in your car if you're driving that kind of vehicle than go and sit in a cinema? My experience was sitting in the back of a car with six other friends, all because trying to squish in, paying 10 in a, rand each. And it was in a city golf, right? <laughs> like a little Datsun. I don't even think it was How as fancy. How old are you, really? <laughs> I don't think it was as fancy as a city golf. All right, coming